Hi, I'm Dr. Rachna Kucheria, a family physician. I'm speaking to you today about the new mutation that has been found in the virus uh, and being sort of labeled to be the cause of the increased number of cases in the UK. I'd like to clarify a few things today. Um, and I'll start with basically viruses and mutation. Viruses do, mu do mutate as has the coronavirus. Um, and this new mutation that has been found does alter some aspects of the spike protein or what the virus uses to attach to uh, the human beings or our cells. Now, through modeling, this is statistical modeling, they are saying that it's a very high likelihood that this virus could be responsible for the spike in the cases in the UK. Uh, so two things have happened together that they found more viruses with this mutation and a sudden rise in the number of cases daily in the UK. Uh, so this is leading them to say that this could be responsible. However, the proving of this needs to be still done by the genomics, by the microbiology, by the researchers in the UK. Uh, so we're still awaiting that and most of the bodies uh, all over Europe as well as the UK are saying that they, this could be associated, but again, uh, the science needs to back this up. So in the meantime, the governments have done what is the correct public health response, done a complete shutdown, a lockdown, especially around a time, a season where people would be mingling, where people would be getting together with friends and families. Uh, they've done the right thing to limit the spread. The second concern people are having is that is this new mutation making the coronavirus more dangerous? That too still is a speculation. Uh, the scientists are saying again that there is no indication as of now that the new mutation has made the virus more dangerous. There is a rise in the cases that are in the hospital, but that is in general because the cases have risen. So more the number of cases, whatever the proportion get to the hospital, that will also rise. Not to say that the virus has become more deadly or is causing more serious ill health as of now. The third aspect that people have been concerned about is that the vaccine is barely starting to roll out and now this virus seems to have changed character. Will the vaccine work? Yes, it will. Uh, because <clears throat> the, the antibody response that is produced by the vaccine does not depend just on one area of the antigen, which has you know, changed with the mutation. There are multiple levels of it. Also, um, there are other kinds of immunity the body has. So the body's immune response is a multi-layered response, as well as even on the spike protein area, there are multiple sites um, that uh, induce antibody production in the human being, in the person who gets the vaccine. So even if one of those sites is knocked off or affected by the viruses, the rest should still work. Uh, this is the correct fact as of now. Um, and uh, science is changing fast. Researchers are working faster and harder and together than ever before um, on, on the coronavirus. So I think it's good to uh, keep uh, in tune with the messaging that's going on in the news, but also not be taken in just by headlines. Look between the lines, look for reliable resources to actually see what the scientists and the science is saying versus just be taken in by the headline news. In the meantime, the best protection we know till now remains the three things of safe distancing, wearing your correct mask and washing hands. Stay safe during this festive season and wish you all a very happy, safe and healthy new year.